know me, my name is Sheila D, and I like to play with photography. My grandfather got me started many, many years ago with my very first camera, and he's been an inspiration and supportive ever since. He's an incredible man. My photography is a personal expression of who I am. I like to do still photography because I want somebody to actually look at my images and say, oh my gosh, I'd like to have that in my living room or in my office. Composition is key though. Understanding how the elements work together and can play off of each other is important. And that starts with an idea, a keen eye, and patience. Your images should evoke questions and capture beauty of what you're shooting. Understanding what it is you're shooting. Even the most simple objects can have a fabulous image. Weddings, their photos suck. Nobody likes to look at wedding photos. But tell a story in what you're, what you're shooting. This image here has a red leaf in her shoes. It tells that the wedding was in the fall. Allow your subjects to be expressive and creative in what they're doing. Let them show their own personality. You should have fun too as you're shooting. Emotions and feelings should be captured in all of your images. Understand the, Im the, the feelings that you want your viewers to have. Know that the angle of the camera changes that feeling. Distribution of power is determined by that camera angle. Shooting from above gives the, the power to the person um, that's viewing. Shooting from below gives power to the image or the person in that image. If you get down on your knees and take a shot or get up in a tree, you might get dirty, but it's okay. Forcing the perspective is a fun, creative endeavor that actually uses um, an, an illusion of something being further away or closer than it actually is. This here is the true photo of what I just had up there. Evo is actually three and a half or four feet away from the vase. This takes a patient model and thought into how to manipulate your items. Mind your lines. Lines are powerful. If you use vertical lines, that equals power. Horizontal equals stability, and diagonal is action. Depth of field. Your depth of field actually refers to the zone of focus. And it's a little more advanced to play with, but it is going to help you, and um, you're going to have fun with it. In that zone of focus, you may only have one or two little items that are in focus. Whatever's behind that zone and in front of it will be blurred. The um, depth of field will allow you to make your image po images pop, especially if you're using a variety of different colors. This here looks like it's 3D. Textures are also fun. Understand that the people around you may not see the same thing you see. This is a door. So make sure that they allow you to take what you want as you're shooting. Clarity is also your friend. Understand that the eyes of the subject you're shooting need to be in focus. And be aware of what they're looking at. If, they're, if you've got several people and they're looking in different directions, not going to be good. Use the camera you have. Understand that all of you probably have a cell phone in your pocket. This was taken with an iPhone. Practice makes perfect. I know you hear that all the time. It's reality. The more you shoot, the better you'll become. And I also would advocate that you should be with people that are better than you. They're going to make you look good. There's a saying that says, a boat in the harbor is safest. I would advocate to not be that boat. Go out, shoot, and be adventurous. Thank you.